P-R-O-F-E-C-T. That connecting to the right and perfect people at the right and perfect time this year so that you, that's right, so that you can actually have the life you want, the business you want, and it happens when you decide to be powerful, have an impact, and really go for it. So today I'm going to be talking to you about that. Here are some tips that I want to share with you. Here's what Connect stands for. So C-O-N-N-E-C-T. That's what you're going to be doing this year is to connect. C starts with committing to meeting 100. Committing to 100 and what that means is from now until the end of the year, you decide that you're going to meet 100 new people. You're going to age with 100 new people. And you're going to keep a log. Because the 100 people that you're going to find is people that will make you grow, people that will make you feel good about yourself, people that are doing amazing things. And so it is really important that you start expanding your network. And that means commit to meeting 100. Now, some of those people will come from groups that you currently belong to. So check all the groups that you currently belong to, associations, memberships, meetings, and set up dates so that you can start meeting those people and really connecting with them. Isn't that why you invested in those opportunities? Or isn't that why you volunteer and show up? Spend the time to meet 100 people before the end of the I can guarantee you that you will have an extraordinary end of year just because you chose to meet them. Number two is O, right? Connect. Zero. Um, o, which is open yourself to new high-level people. Too often we hang out with people that we're comfortable with, but doesn't they don't necessarily stretch us. I want you to start and commit to seeking opportunities to meet people that will make you stretch. People that are doing amazing things that you can sit there and go, if they can do it, I can do it. And where you can really learn from them. When you start stretching yourself and, hang, and meeting people who are at a higher level, and that can be within your own office, your senior leadership, people that are even above your boss. When you see them in the lunchroom, you see them out, say, can I sit and have a talk can I have some coffee with you you're not breaking any protocol for rules what you do what you're doing is expanding your experiences and that makes a huge difference in your life your work and your effectiveness going forward and please never or as avoid it at all at all costs hang out with people who aren't happy who aren't ambitious who are, who are negative, don't hang out with those people. They're not going to make your life better. They're not gonna, they're not gonna support you and your goals. They're not gonna be the kind of people that make you feel really good about what you do, how you do what you do. So never or as much as possible, avoid negative people. It's just not worth it, really. There are so many amazing, great people out in this world. If they choose to stay focused on being negative, Move on, just move on. And I love having people with nameplates. You go to events, oftentimes people don't share their name or they say it so fast that you can't remember their name. So clearly you notice that my name is uh, Piggy, right? So it's right behind me. I don't have to have a name tag. But when I go out, I do like to have a name tag because with just my first name, I don't put anything else on it. I don't put business, I don't turn it, just my first name because people really want to know your name. They want to remember who you are, so they want to hear your name. As a matter of fact, I do it like this. I have a name, I had a name badge, men made in my black with my rhinestones so that when I go out, actually I put it over here, when I go out, people can know my name and know that they can talk with me and that I'm open to receiving their message. E, be enthusiastic. Enthusiastic means that you are a joy to be around. You're a joy to be with. 
you smile and you like to smile and it makes people feel really good about who you are. It makes you feel good. So make sure when you're connecting with people that you're smiling and enthusiastic. Don't always be so serious and don't be in your head of saying, no, I don't know who these people are. No, smile. It makes a difference. E, uh, C, all two people a day. Connecting is about connections. And yes, I know that we use text, and yes, we can text people, but I gotta tell you, you will be seen as more powerful, more impactful, more influential if you would just call people. You could set a timer, five minutes, just that you say it there. How are you doing? What are you up to? What's going on with you? Really make it impactful, but just by you taking the action. Just two calls a day can make a huge difference. Besides the fact, those two calls a day make an impact for the person on the other end. You don't know what they're going through, but your outreach call makes a huge difference. T. And finally, take time to connect with yourself. I think it's really important that you get to know yourself, that you get to connect with who you are, that you get to connect with what your values are, what you stand for, what you're about. So spend quiet time getting to know you, study books, fill in the forms, do assessments, really create an experience whereby you are interested in yourself, discover yourself, and honestly that you fall in love with yourself because you'll learn how awesome you are. So my name is Pegine, P-E-G-I-N-E. You can check me out at Team Pegine, T-E-A-M, P-E-G-I-N-E, -E, or go to my other website, P-E-G-I-N-E.com. I look forward to speaking to you again next week on Be Powerful. You have an impact. Have a great day, everybody.